Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 has finally arrived for the OnePlus Nord and it brings a lot of cool features. So in this video we'll check out how to update the OnePlus Nord to Oxygen OS 11 beta, all the new features Oxygen OS 11 and Android 11 brings to the OnePlus Nord, some of my all time favorite features of Oxygen OS and as a bonus we'll also check out how to switch from the Google dialer pre-installed on the Nord to the OnePlus dialer which has auto call recording. So without any further ado, let's get started. First up, how to get this update on the OnePlus Nord. Okay, so the first thing to note is that this Oxygen OS 11 update is a beta update and not a stable update. So it might have a few bugs. In my testing for the past few days with this update, I have encountered a few minor bugs but overall this is pretty stable and usable. Still, if it sounds too risky, wait for a few weeks and you'll get the stable version. If you still plan to proceed, make sure to at least back up your data. You won't lose any of your data when you update to this beta release. But if and when you decide to roll back to a stable ROM, you'll lose all your data and you'll have to start afresh. So a backup is highly recommended. The update procedure is very simple. The download link to the Indian ROM as well as the global ROM are in the description. You simply download it to your phone. Once downloaded, it will be in the downloads folder in your file manager app. First thing you need to do is to rename it. Basically, this file name ends with two extensions, that is .zip, .jar. You need to remove the last .jar from the name. So the file name now ends with .zip. Next. You need to move this file outside the downloads folder so that it's directly located in the internal storage and not any folder. Once this is done, you simply go to settings, scroll down to system and tap on system updates. Tap on the update settings in the top right corner and select local upgrade. If you have followed the above steps correctly, you'll see the update file here. Simply tap on it and select install now. However, make sure that the phone has at least 5 to 10 gigs of free internal storage and at least 50% battery left before updating the phone to be on the safer side. It will take a few minutes to complete this update, so be patient and don't press any button while the phone updates and reboots. Ok, so now that your OnePlus Nord has been updated, what are the cool new features worth checking out? Well, it's a long list. Let's start with the most demanded one, always on display. To enable it, simply go to settings, display, ambient display and always on ambient display. You can have it on all the time or schedule it for a fixed time. Now go back to the main settings page and go to customization, clock on ambient display. There are many analog and digital clocks to choose from. The inside clock style is especially pretty cool as it also shows you how many times you have used your phone in a day. This awareness can be helpful to reduce smartphone addiction. Next, OnePlus Shelf returns. You can open it with a simple swipe down gesture on the home screen. If you don't want it, you can always go back to opening the notification shade with the same gesture. Next thing to notice is that the UI is now more one hand usage friendly. So you can bring down all the UI elements to make it easily reachable. However, this doesn't work everywhere and the UI needs a little more work. Dark mode is finally a fully integrated feature rather than just a theme. You can also force individual apps to be displayed in dark mode. You can now instantly preview and share screenshots and camera samples without leaving the app. Android 11 improves notifications. Now they are properly categorized. So you get toggles and media controls, conversations, alerting notifications, and other notifications. You also get a redesigned power menu, which integrates with Google Home to display all your smart home devices. You can now convert your conversation notifications to floating bubbles 
making multitasking while chatting a lot easier. But this is a bit buggy right now, so be patient for things to get better. So these were some of the new features added to the OnePlus Nord. Now let me share with you some of my all time favorite features of Oxygen OS. Starting with the customization menu. Here you can easily change accent colors, notification toggle shapes, icon packs and fonts. In my opinion, this is much better than browsing through hundreds of themes to find the right one. Screen of gestures is so useful. I wish other brands like Samsung and Xiaomi also added it. Hidden space can be accessed with a swipe from the app drawer. Here you can hide a few apps and even protect them with the password. Quick launch is another very useful tool. I use it all the time to quickly access the calculator. Zen mode is a pretty cool addition to Oxygen OS. It lets you take a break from your phone and even helps in meditation with its relaxing sounds. Finally, bonus time. So the OnePlus Nord comes with Google's Dialer, Contacts and Messages app. It doesn't match OnePlus design aesthetic and also doesn't have the one hand optimization of Oxygen OS 11. Moreover, the Dialer app doesn't have auto call recording and while making a manual call recording, it prompts the other side that the call is being recorded. So if you want to use the original Oxygen OS Dialer, Contacts and Messaging app instead of Google's, the download link to these APK files is in the description. Simply download them, install and open them. You will be prompted to make them the default apps. Accept it and you are done. Super simple. Please note that these apps will only work in Oxygen OS 11. So don't try to install them on Oxygen OS 10. There is no point. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching.